What's good, Sneakerheads? Back here with another uh, All-Star Weekend drop. This one, in my opinion, was by far the best. Um, the Jordan 6 social status was, in my opinion, the top one equal with the UNC's. Uh, but since there's no way in hell I'd be able to get a size 12 or 14 in the UNC's, um, you know, that one was my favorite until I saw this design and then this blew them all out of the water like this one was number one like el numero uno perfecto like and that was the case for everybody that I was in line with everybody loved this sneaker they were all saying it's the number one and it's got everything that I love on a sneaker like they knew exactly what they were doing when they made this shoe I'm not even the biggest Hornets fan not, I'm definitely not the biggest Charlotte fan, but uh, this shoe is just amazing, like absolutely amazing. So let's jump into it. Shout out to Black Sheep. They gave everybody this huge box right here. Um, don't know why. <laughs> well, I know why, but um, there's my wristband. They gave me, there's a whole story behind that too. It's number 348, I believe. Yeah. All right. So they gave everybody the sneakers and the special box separate because of what came, you know, in the special box along with it. So I'm going to do the special box first and then I'm going to do the sneakers. So to start with, the special box is right here. The outside of it is designed to look like the outside of a hornet's nest. So, you know, everything. And then it's got the entrance right here with little hornets in it and everything. You can see the honeycomb. It's got Nike SB right there and this iridescent kind of look. And then when you slide it open, it's got honeycomb everywhere. Nike SB and like a honey type of look. Right here you've got Nike SB Black Sheep in that iridescent look. And underneath it, you have the same design that's on the back of the t-shirt that I got. Here's a picture of it. But these are more of an iridescent kind of feel to kind of go along with the actual sneaker. So, you get into this box, you get a special backpack like these long straps on it and uh, you know it's got the black hornet it's got the actual hornet Nike SB black sheep all that goodness when you get into it this is what it came with you get this little squishy basketball with the hornet Nike SB black sheep well, no Nike SB, but you get the basketball. You get this fully laced black sheep. Silver lace Dubrays. You get this stinger lace pack with three different silver tipped laces to go with the shoe those are crazy like i love those and you get a black hornet kind of uh mock uh comic book cover and the cool thing about this is um the guy that designed the right here that drew up the hornet and everything else um uh, he was actually there doing with like four or five separate drawings and here's you know a small clip of me recording those i think i got a picture too to throw in there of all of them but he was autographing them they were all uh hand drawn everything they looked amazing i'm ordering a full set of those uh, i got his business card too so i gotta make sure because you know my wife there's a story along with the drop, but my wife and my kid had a doctor's appointment and I rode with my friend Terrell who hooks me up. You know, I've shouted him out. Um, so we were both up there in line, it took six hours to get these things. 
it was crazy. So she was driving around waiting on me. And uh, by the time I copped, I ran out the door because I saw her in the window coming by. So, And then you get the stickers. And the stickers, there's a uh, fire. Here's a picture of them. I'm not going to open this. Um, too much of a pain in the butt. Uh, but you get four different, you know, stickers. And they're all various, you know, some iridescent ones and whatnot. So, got that, and then you got the sneakers, which comes in a teal Nike SB box, size 12, and believe me, I really thought that I wasn't going to be able to get my size on these, like, I was so scared because of the number that I got, 348, like, that's ridiculous, but I was able to get them. There they are, these beauties. You got the uh, the NBA Nike SB tag that came on the uh, the ones that you know wore away, the ones that just recently dropped, and the um, those blue satin ones, the lows that came out. Um, those also had the uh, you know Nike SB NBA tag, little hang tag on it. So. <clears throat> This sneaker features a purple and teal iridescent upper. Like, look at that color shift. I love iridescent. Like, I absolutely love iridescent. And these right here, back about two years ago, when the, um, the uh, All-Star Game was going to be in Charlotte but then ultimately canceled, uh, was when these dropped. And these are, I mean, look at that. It's the same color. These match, like, absolutely perfectly. And I think that's where they got their inspiration from because they knew that they weren't going to drop another one like this. And I'm never going to get rid of these. Like, these are absolutely amazing. The All-Star ones, like, so good. Even the bottom, I mean, I've got a protector on it, but the bottom's kind of pearlescent can't go wrong with that that's the one thing they should have done with these instead of silver uh, lace tips they should have done a pearlescent you know lace tip on them um, so it's got regular black tips on these laces so it's got the purple and teal pearlescent iridescent upper it's got all around here around the back and everything uh, elephant print elephant print yo like seriously elephant print you got two of my favorite things on a sneaker iridescent and elephant print you cannot go wrong with that on a sneaker that's why everybody said that these were so fire and then they went the extra step with the black leather swoosh with the embroidered silver stinger I mean, look at that thing and it kind of it's thick too you know it sticks out of it and then you've got the kind of icy blue uh, gamma colored outsole with the all black midsole. That just looks fire. It adds so much to it. There's the inside of it. You got the same basic look on it. And the uh, wings right here are actually not sewn in. And the design of them are, it looks like um, hornet's wings. Here, I'll, uh, I'll jump to it so you don't have to wait. 2,000 years later. All right, there we go. You see the inside, they kind of look like uh, molded, or uh, not molded, but sketched little hornet's wings. Kind of hard to see in the monitor, but yeah, you see the outline of it and everything. That the detail, the attention to detail on these is the reason why I waited in line like six hours for them. Like, absolutely amazing. Uh, before I get into everything else, so let's check these out on feet because uh, I've seen them on feet before, like when they did it. Oh my god! So let's do that real quick.
Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of high tops, and I'm going to rock these like crazy. I need to double up on these, like seriously. I need to double up on these. So, the, uh, the drop was a little crazy, to say the least. Um, so, they... I, I had been asking about these, like they, I've got, you know, three or four friends up at Black Sheep, I know the guys up there, and, um, you know, they always try to look out, you know, as best they can, I love those guys up there, um, so I, I was told about these uh, about three months ago, uh, two months ago, something like that, two or three months ago, uh, but they wouldn't tell me about the design, um, that was a closely guarded secret. All they said was, you know, these are dropping. We got a whole nother one coming out. Because, you know, they got the paid in fulls, which here's a picture. And they have the wolf in sheep's clothing, which here's a picture. Um, those are the two that they've dropped so far. And then you got this one. So they said that they got another one coming out. They didn't say that it was for All-Star Weekend. They just said we got another one coming out. I said, when's it coming out? They said, uh, you know, late January, early February. I was like, all right, cool. I was like... Uh, so do you know what it looks like? What's the colorway of it? And they were like, we can't say anything. But all I can say is absolutely fire. They're the best ones we've done yet. I was like, cool, I can't wait. So every time I would go in there and I would ask them, you know, more and more like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? Nobody ever dropped anything. They didn't even like, I was like, bro, just tell me the basic color. They were like, can't do it. I was like, is it a low or a high? And they were like, I can tell you it's a high. But that's it. I can't tell you anything else. I was like, all right. And that's with all of them. Like, they're all so loyal. It's not even funny. Um, which is completely, un, you know, believe, uh, unrespectable. Like, and once you're not loyal anymore, you just have nothing going for you. So, um, yeah, they told me all about that. And then it got to about December. And I was like, so what's the deal with the, you know, specials that are coming out? These. And two of them told me, I don't, I mean... You know, Nike's BSing. Um, I don't think that it's going to happen. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. And I'm like, man, that sucks. You know, well, can you tell me about them now? He was like, no. Nah. I was like, well, how are you going to do it? Are you going to have to, you know, does it have to do with what happened with the paid in fulls where you got to cease and desist? They were like, uh, you know, I, I'm not entirely sure what it is. And I was like, well, are you guys going to backdoor them like you did the paid in fulls? Like, you know, because they couldn't legally sell them in you know, open. So they had to just, you know, get rid of what they had under the radar, um, without promoting and everything. So I was like, are you guys going to do that? They were like, I don't know. We're going to figure it out, you know, go from there. And, um, so as it got closer, they were like, I walked in after about two weeks of not being there, I walked in and they're building the boxes. This is like the week before, um, all-star weekend. And they're building the special boxes. I was like, bro, are those them? He was like, yeah. I was like, yo, let me let me look at them. They let me take a peek at them. I was like, bro, those are fire, man. Hook me up, hook me up. So I was like, well, you know, how many 12s did you get? He was like, uh, you know, like 12, 15, something like that. I was like, bro, you kidding me? There's going to be like 400 people out there. Like, there's no way. He was like, bro, you got a chance, man. Just, you know, you're good. You got a chance. I'm like... You got a chance of dying on your way home, bro. Like you got a chance of getting hit by a bug in your eyeball and making your ear fall off. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a chance for everything. Um, but he was like, you're good, man. Just don't worry about it. You know, I was like, even if I get here at 10 o'clock and you guys open at 8 o'clock, you still think I'm good? He was like, yeah, bro, you're straight. I was like, all right, I'll take your word for it. So, you know, I leave. Uh, we do our thing. Me and Terrell go get uh you know the day before the drop we go to social status we get our jordans and then we immediately go to black sheep to see what's going on there there's already like five or six people in line we go in we talk to the guys and everything um we're like all right bro we'll be back you know everything so we didn't you know i overheard that nike security was coming down there nike security typically was doing the uh bracelets you know the wristbands but it didn't cross my mind. I didn't hear that from anybody. I just heard Nike security is supposed to be coming down here to, you know, go over everything. So, um, I, we left, you know, I had to work that night and Terrell had to go to work and everything. So we leave, come all the way back to the house, which I live about 40 minutes. 
with, you know, regular speed limit, you know, away from black sheep. So we get home, I'm doing my thing. And then Terrell texts me or calls me and he's like, bro, they're doing wristbands. I was like, what? So we both get in our separate cars, drive up there real quick. He gets 320, I get 348. And uh, I was like, bro, he was even mad. He was like, this is the, the one shoe I want. Like we were going to be up there at like one o'clock in the morning to wait in line, you know? We're like, there's no way, there's no way we're going to get a 12. And he was like, bro, you're good, man. Don't worry about it. You know? So they only gave wristbands for the amount of shoes that they had. They had 600 pairs of shoes. So, um, you know, we'd leave, uh, you know, we were mad because we were like, why didn't anybody tell us? But they didn't even know until uh, Nike security came up there. It was like, yeah, we got to do wristbands. So, um, yeah, we leave everything. They tell us, you know, we're going to open at eight. The early numbers we're telling to get here at six. And, you know, you guys get here about eight thirty nine, and we'll be getting around your number around then. So you'll be good. So we planned everything to be done around 10 or 1030 uh, at the latest. Well, we get up there, we get in line, everything at like 830. And uh, needless to say, we, I got my shoe at two o'clock. <laughs> you know, my wife was driving around for like three hours, like getting lunch and everything down there waiting for me, uh, until two o'clock when we finally got done. And, uh, you know, black sheep, I love you guys, but homeboy, like you, you straight up almost gave me a heart attack and got me real mad. And he knows, man, he knew. He started laughing when I did it. Uh, I get to the door. He opened, They were doing it one by one. They moved 10 over to the door. He'd open the door, let you in one at a time. You know, there'd be a few people in there shopping or whatever. But uh, he opens the door. He's like, oh, what's up, bro? Uh, you know, what size? 12 again, right? I was like, yeah. He was like, bro, we're out. And my fist immediately clenched. And I was like, what the f and he was, he just kind of was like, oh, bro, I'm chilling. Calm down. Calm down. We got you. We got you. Come on in. I was just playing. I was like, you kidding, bro? Like, you know, come on. Don't play like that. I was like, bro, I'm seriously about to, I was about to lose my mind on you. Like, I was really surprised. He was like, bro, I told you that you would get him. Like, I told you not to worry. And I was like, bro, you had me like, ah, I was so, you knew how many, how much I wanted these shoes. Like, and you, you. You just told me 12 to 15. He was like, I know, but we had to, man. We couldn't tell you specifics and everything. Like, I was like, all right, I understand. So. That's joking. <laughs> I was about to fucking snap, bro. Like, I was about to fucking lose my mind. You know, I caught my pair, Terrell got a 13, and that tells you how many sizes and you know whatever they had i mean he was 320 and got a size 13 like the first size to run out was an eight and a half and that was like 200 people in you know they had a good amount of sizes and everything there so uh shout out to black sheep for looking out like you guys are amazing like any other shoe store i wouldn't have been able to cop my size so definitely amazing um they had a food truck there that was giving them free food if you had an armband, so they paid for that. Everything was great. The shoe surgeon popped up and gave them a custom pair of these. Um, here's a, a few photos of them. Uh, as you can see, it's got that python kind of look on the side uh, where the iridescent color is. It's got a more detailed um, elephant print going around. It's got like more silver in there, which I think I might actually do with these. Um, on the tongue, it's got a amber encased uh, hornet, like a big, a giant hornet or whatever. 
Uh, those shoes just are absolutely amazing. And I'm pretty sure they gifted them to the owner of Black Sheep, who's in these photos. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these, these shoes are absolutely amazing. Are you guys going to cop them? Were you in Charlotte? Did you cop them? Um, these are something that you got to double up on. Like, these are a rarity. Once these are gone, like, you're going to wish that you had them. So, you need to double, triple up if you can. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Follow me on social media. Links are in the descriptions. I've got a lot more coming. Um, check out my other all-star videos that are up. Uh, if they're not all up, there's more coming. I'm even doing a video filming all of my all-star experience, uh, the insides of the sneakers, everything like the insides of the sneakers building social status that Michael Jordan showed up to like, it's all there. So, uh, make sure to use subscribe with notifications on. So you, you get that link, that video in case you weren't here, you can check it out firsthand. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Be safe, and I hope y'all have a good one. Peace. Perfect. Perfect.